Hello, and welcome back. On the last episode, we completed volume 16. That leaves only two volumes left. Uh, we had met a glorious clown by the name of Marvus Loto. Uh, he was very philosophical and educational and generous. Pretty just the best all around, really. Um, yeah. Uh, it was finally a timeline where Zebra died, and Marvus reassured us that it counts as canon. So, yeah, hopefully that was it, it, it counts as itself as canon. But yeah, anyway, on to volume seventeen. So close to the end. Uh, I think once we get to the end, I might take a break from the series a bit because obviously, a lot of my content have, or at this point has already just been. Uh, hive swap stuff. Anyway, volume 17 of Teen and Tech, uh, Azebrook. Cool, no idea what that means. Ah, uh, yes. This is it, fellas. Another night of laughter and camaraderie. Another night of joy and communion with a totally normal t uh, teen. Nope, totally normal teens. Sorry for the, uh, burp. It was a bit of a burp and a hiccup at the same time. Um, who would ne have... Uh, just kidding, idiot. It's still not tenure. And you know, one of these miserable uh, fools is around here somewhere. Waiting for the exact right moment to uh, in in inundate uh, you with another disgustingly do dose of friendship. Who's going to be the author of your uh, destruction uh, on the accursed uh, evening? Uh... Daria John Jet or Nikki Mula. Daria. Your feet, uh, you drag your feet as you walk, every limb heavy and slow, and your thoughts are cloudy and dull. Your palm mask is filled with unanswered text. Y you feel guilty about this. In the back of your uh, mind, where your real feelings lie, crammed together, because in the front of your mind is too busy being uh, lethargic and numb. Uh, being a bad friend goes against the core tenets of your beliefs, and answering texts just seems like too much effort. Um, you're not sure where this peculiar uh, uh, malaise came from. It's just that uh, the usual friend-making uh, aminus that drives you is still there, but it doesn't feel like uh, strong enough to overcome how tired you are uh, of everything else. You can't quite remember how it felt to care that uh, much about companionship and camaraderie. In fact, right now you can't remember how it felt to care about uh, to care about much of anything. Your thoughts drift to fantasies uh, of driving your car into the uninhabited Altonian deserts until you run out of the uh, fu out of fuel, and perhaps letting the sun have its way with you. It could be part of the feeling that you've. Almost made all the friends you, uh, there is to make, and there's little left for you to do in this pl uh, on this planet. It could be weeks of trauma catching up uh, and sinking into your the depression to protect you from thinking about it all. Either way, it just feels like it's so much effort to do a anything, and you'd sort of welcome oblivion if it showed up right now to offer its sweet embrace. Your listless w uh, walking uh, t take it, has taken you to a familiar neighborhood. Ah, it's a really part of town. You smile as you reminisce. Sweet memories, peeking through the beams of sunlight through the fog of your uh, apathy. Not far from uh, here is Malik's Hive. Uh, with all of the hacking equipment and a charming upper middle class atmosphere of entitlement and compliance mixed with vaguely social aware concern. Oh, socially aware concern, sorry. Uh, though, and though you've only gone, uh, uh, though you've only seen pictures of it on Cheddar, uh, you'd know that Romelli's hipster art studio, uh, Hive, uh, slash Hive, is also in the neighborhood. And one block over is our daughter's place, which gave you your gruesome and troubling introduction to the Alternian social more, uh, more, more, social mores, sorry. 
uh, one taught you uh, one taught you love, one taught you patience, and one taught you pain, and something like that. Or something like that, sorry. The hive you're closest to is actually Elwood's, and uh, as you shamble closer, you realise a lot of other trolls seem to be co uh, converging here too. Fishing out your palm husk, you see that uh, the unread message from Elwood is an invitation to a party at her place. Looking around, you feel the flame of your old desire uh, to meet and greet uh, rekindling in your heart. There are plenty of trolls that you haven't met yet. Plenty of opportunities for friendship. Uh, the now roaring fire in your belly feels a little artificial, like someone just uh, injected you with friend-making hormones uh, to flood out your regular uh, human mel melancholy. But you're not going to complain because it is vastly prefer uh, preferable. You're walking briskly towards Elwood's hive, and you spot a troll lurking in the shadows by Elwood's back door. Curious, you approach, and when you get closer, you sp uh, spot a jade green uh, on her outfit. Although, there's not much of her blood colour in comparison to what most, most uh, other trolls seem to uh, sport, because she's mostly wearing black and spikes and uh, black spikes. Ah, uh, it's you. Yes, it makes sense you'd be here. You're probably friends with Elwood, huh? Whatever. Uh, yeah, you're friends with Elwood, but you didn't come here to, uh, for the party. You just came in the neighbourhood. Uh, you try and mimic Elwood's, uh, uh, try and mimic Daria's disaffected uh, slouch. It's not hard, as you can just channel the you from about 60 seconds ago, uh, who was very disaffected indeed. From the approaching arch uh, of Daria's eyebrow, uh, you think you're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, uh, why is a lamb? Most pies are anyway. Uh, this one might be uh, cool. Elwood's pretty cool. I mean, she seems alright. I don't think she's that cool, I just think her hair and clothes and personality don't completely suck at all. You tactfully don't comment on the green blush to Daria's cheeks uh, when she ta uh, she's talking about Elwood. Nor the way she keeps glancing uh, at the door like she's hoping someone will invite her in. She's clearly trying to sneak into the party and, uh, and she and doesn't have an invite. Uh, when a branch snaps in the bushes, Darius. Uh, Daria stalls and looks around, shiftily. Um, you wonder if she's supposed to be out uh, on her own uh, this far away from the caverns and all. I'm not a baby like Wanchi, so what if I snuck out? Uh, the cloister rules are so lame, Bronya is so lame. Can't believe Elwood used to hang out with her, but I guess if you hadn't befriended Bronya, I would never have met her. It's hard to uh, meet non bloods in the caverns. All the time you're underground and Nothing but loose and grubs and the same suit jades every day. It sucks down there. Daria's imitation, uh, it, yeah, Daria's imi uh, imitation group on uh, bracelets, uh, clunk it around, uh, clunks uh, as she folds her arms uh, over her chest. Her heavy makeup makes it look like uh, her eyes are twin black holes. Um, uh, where all sense of fun and caring about things uh, might go to die. She's giving you a marked contrast uh, from how Bronya talked uh, about the caverns, with the peace and quiet and the safety uh, they offer compared to the alternative surface. And uh, and over than that time Lanura nearly killed you in a cave, and that time that you were nearly trampled by a rampaging Lucis. You remember liking the caverns. <sighs> you would think that. Don't know why I thought you might be cool. You might be friends with Elwood, but you're also friends with, uh, Ronya and Lenora. They're two most boring trolls on this planet. Uh, you can't help but feel slightly defensive of your friends. Sure, Lenora is Lenora, but you wouldn't call her boring, and Bronya is very fond of the rules. It's true, but she can hang. Uh, whatever. This conversation is dumb. I don't care if you uh, can't get me into the party, nothing matters anyway. Just make your stupid choice and get uh, on with it. Uh, okay. Um, I didn't expect for her to be aware of it. Every time, every time you need to save, this game doesn't like us saving. Um, you don't want to get inside the party. Or 
right? So, we're going inside the body, I think. I'm confused. Eh, uh, what the hell. It's not your job to keep uh, anyone in line, and it's not like you have a great understanding of even of why even the older Gibbloods uh, need to stay underground anyway. If Dario wants to sneak out into parties and get uh, into trouble, who are you to say no? Dario expresses no pleasure in your, at your decision to get her into the party. She just shrugs and uh, rolls her eyes. You shrug and roll your eyes back. You can play the role of disaffected teen with the best of them. You take her around uh, to the front door. Hey, you're looking forward to seeing Elwood again. Uh, when you met uh, when you, when you met her, you didn't have nearly as many friends as you do now. And in retrospect, you know you came off as kind of as uh, psychophantic. Wouldn't it be great if uh, wouldn't it be great if you could uh, introduce Elwood to you know, the new popular and knowledgeable you? As you're walking up the steps, a huge shadow uh, dwarfs yours. Uh, you look up to see Charhut. All the trolls uh, grinning above you. A nice job to you. Uh, hey little one. I remember you. And who is this little one uh, uh, you've got w uh, with you? Charhut switches her intense uh, interest from you to Daria, grinning down at her. Daria isn't a huge, uh, isn't huge for a jade blood or anything, but she seems uh, absurdly tiny when with Charhut looming over her uh, like that. Her face remains impassive and bored, but she... Uh, scuffs one big uh, black boot onto the ground and twists her, one of her spiky bracelets around her wrist. Cute. Uh, don't see little, uh, many little jades outside of her caverns. I've always found greenies fascinating, so devoted to the uh, continuation of the species. What a holy mission. Chad uh, moves... Well, that seems like he's not comfortable. Chad moves slowly and lazily. Uh, like she has all the time in the world with no conceivable reason to rush, and reaches down and pat Daria's shoulder. She lets her, uh, her hand linger, one claw resting on Daria's neck. Ain't it dangerous for uh, ain't it a dis dangerous pro uh, proposition to be so far away from your uh, green brothers and sisters? Unless you're hiding something uh, in those pretty veins. Uh, a slimy chill. Uh, it runs down your spine. Daria seems frozen on the spot, staring straight at the uh, Charles, staring straight at straight at Charles' uh, bosom in front of her. You think Charles is joking, but it can be hard to tell with the clowns. Their humor is just uh, so much highbrow uh, than everyone else. Just joking. This looks like a, a good party, even if Albert is too blasphemous uh, for my taste sometimes. Okay, well at least you're having fun. Nice seeing you, Charles. Uh, see you both inside, little ones. I uh, see you both little ones inside. Yeah, it was, I think it was nice seeing her again, personally. Not sure how Daria's taking it. And then she ambles away, uh, bending down to duck inside the, yeah, the door of the party. You hear uh, party sound music and laughter and uh, clinking of drinks, and what could be the sound of someone being murdered? Well, which qualifies as party noise on this planet? Uh... Then the door swings as it should again, and you and Daria look at each other. Daria's heavy makeup uh, can make it hard to read her expression, but you can tell she uh, uh, that she's rattled. Uh, you know what? Uh, it looks like this party is filled with lame performers. All the highbloods uh, that buy into the system and do what they're told, even I would. We can find something better to do elsewhere. Yeah, to help with this party. Hey, you're down to find uh, your own fun, especially if that matter, uh, means not putting Daria into the way of potentially murdery happy clowns. As you saunter away from the party, you realize that Daria is looking at you expectantly. Well, uh, you've got this reputation for being uh, all unconventional and weird and rebellious. Everyone seems to think that you're like uh, totally with uh, messing with the convention of society or whatever. So. You've got any suggestions for cool stuff to do? God, uh, you felt a lot of pressure uh, to be uh, quirky since the word has spread out that your uh, manic pixie dream alien ways. It's not like you're trying to be a, a vehicle for other characters to project onto, assisting in character growth uh, and insight uh, for those around you while uh, your impulse decisions are, and carefree ways somehow keep y you yourself uh, stagnant and forever unchanged. It just seems to sometimes 
Be like that. Anyway, you're tired. And it's daunting to uh, have a, a punk teen expecting you to come up with the suggestions of the cool stuff. You have a feeling that she's just going to shoot you down whatever you, uh, you suggest. You rack your brain trying to think of uh, anything. Uh, uh, you can't think of anywhere, sorry, uh, from where uh, many adventures that Daria might be like. Your think pan comes up with a zilt and squat, and starting to look bored with you. There we go. Confessing that you, you can't think of anything is probably an option that if uh, you want Daria to be your friend, and as exhausted and delusional uh, as you feel uh, with the socialite uh, routine, you like her and uh, you want to be bo you want to bond. Oh, so going inside was the right option. Surprising. Okay, um... Well, she wants us to do something, so probably the smartest thing to do would be asking her, right? Because then... Yeah. So... If we make a choice, that's what I'm thinking. If we make a choice, then... Obviously, we all get into the options. Uh... Yeah, so... Here's the thing. Your uh, weirdest and best advice uh, have happened to you when you uh, when you decided to be spontaneous and just let stuff happen. Adventure and coolness uh, are both hard things to plan. So what are you suggesting? We just wander? Her derisive tone uh, makes you hesitate, but well, yes, that's exactly what you're suggesting. Daria gives you uh, a long uh, considering look. You hold your breath, and uh, then she shrugs. Okay, whatever, sure. Not like I have anything better to do. Let's just go. You meander through uh, the well-maintained uh, Cerulean streets, heading downtown. This seems like the good opportunity to get to know your new potential f friend. Uh, so, you start uh, by asking her some fairly simple questions. Uh, how am I? Gee, I don't know. I'm forbidden to leave the student ca uh, stupid caverns, uh, and as a jadebird, all I have to look forward to is a life of f being forbidden to do things. How do you think I am? Okay, you try and uh, walk that one back a little. It sounds like Daria is unsatisfied with the jade build setup. That's one way to put it. You could also try and uh, say that I'm unsatisfied with like the whole setup of my species. You've been here for a while now. Don't tell me you haven't noticed that every part of our society is transparent nonsense. You glance around because Daria is right. You've been here for a while, and that means you know enough uh, to know that if the wrong people overheard this kind of talk, you both could get called on the spot. But everyone here uh, seems distracted by their own nonsense. Cautiously, uh, you concede that, yeah, you've noticed a certain uh, nonsense aroma. Yep, it all stinks. No one has any kind of real future except uh, for the highest of the high bloods. And actually, I've heard that uh, things pretty much suck for them too. Uh, some might even say that Pelt Bloods are the most deep disprivileged class, uh, class of them all. You're just going to continue uh, to not comment uh, on that one. Instead, you point out uh, that being a Jade Blood, Daria has the uh, purpose beyond just growing up and becoming father of the Imperial Army. Uh, father for in the com Imperial Army. Like you've heard the other trolls mention, uh, surely that counts as a real future. Uh, don't get me started. Suffice to say, I'm not exactly hype about uh, the purpose that I'm supposedly ha uh, supposedly have. More like the purpose I was uh, arbitrarily assigned to me. But it's not like I have a choice, and rebelling isn't in any sort of real way would put me in danger of culling. Uh, life here is pretty much uh, just hopeless. Uh, damn, you wish uh, you had uh, you wish you had a good uh, counter argument. You want to give some uh, some words of comfort, but uh, what can you even say? Dario's right. Stuff's grim. At least you're honest. Uh, thanks for not, uh, you know, messing with me. You know, Lonora said you were good to talk to about uh, real stuff. Guess she was right. That's a... Uh... Ah. You're surprised that Lonora is going uh, around talking about you. Saying positive things, even. But you're more surprised that Daria is bringing up uh, a, in a non-derisive uh, context. 
You didn't know that Daria and Lenora were close. Ugh, no, gross. I hate Lenora. And not in a romantic way. Oh well. Anyway, uh, never mind. Daria uh, looks embarrassed and flustered, uh, and also uh, annoyed at you. At least you've gotten the subject away from the hopeless, how hopeless thing, uh, hopeless everything is. But still, uh, you don't want uh, this friendship to sour. As you scan, uh, as you're scanning uh, your useless brain for uh, tactful uh, subject changes, you're saved by the footsteps of a new troll approaching. Oh, another friend! Hooray! Hi, uh, Tizius. Uh, as luck would have it, uh, you still know uh, this. You know this troll. It's Tizius. Which makes sense because your meandering has taken you for, uh, and Duraria closer to Tizius' favorite book hive. Oh, it's you. Uh, what are you doing here? Never mind. I don't need to ask. I don't even need to ask, sir. You're obviously making friends with the Skateblood. Searching for some uh, dumb stuff to do, no doubt. Don't let me keep you. Tizius looks uh, just as exhausted as you remember. Tizius looks just as exhausted as you remember. There we go. Got it. Not mumble through everything. Uh, you don't want to hear her. Uh, you don't want to hear you. You you don't want her to go just yet because it's been a while since you've seen her, and you're always eager for an opportunity to catch up with a friend, especially one uh, of the less murderous ones. Uh, then you notice Dar uh, Daria eyeing up his mug of unidentifiable, li uh, un unidentifiable liquid, and an idea occurs to you. You get excited, bouncing a little uh, on the balls of your feet, and uh, as you introduce Tizius and Daria to each other, you explain to Tizius uh, with a meaningful look uh, that you hope he interprets correctly, that uh, you and Daria are just uh, conversing about the more unjust aspects of Italian society and how it's the hopeless everything seems to be. What do you mean, the more unjust aspects? Does Alternian society have aspects uh, that are not unjust? I'm sweeps into studying our legal system, and I haven't found any. Uh, Daria makes a muffled sound that uh, could be a laugh. Uh, you make your meaningful look more meaningful. Uh, doesn't Tizius remember the conversation she had uh, with you about justice and, and the bad system? Uh, the importance of, uh, of the possible fut uh, futile work to try to improve things someday. Um, Tizius squ uh, squints at you and takes a long slurp uh, from a mug. Right. Yeah, I remember. Um, and you wave your hand around. Now we're talking. Tizius is one of the few friends you've made that uh, seemed to not only notice the stuff that uh, the stuff was messed up, but wanted to de dedicate herself to unmessing it up um, as much as she could. Of course, many of, you, many of your dear friends tried to make uh, the world a little better in various clumsy and interpersonal, uh, distinctly early, uh, Altonian ways. You think of uh, Chixie uh, striving for her music even when it pits her against high bloods, the baffling but sweet uh, ways that Kanal and Azdaja uh, and Gaelic and Tagore uh, care for each other, and Foz's uh, 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 commitment to particle waste. Why do you think that? Uh, why do you think? Why do you think of that guy? He's a, he's a tall uh, shill for, for the contests. You no, know, would I? Can we forget Fozzer, please? He's too confusing. Like, I I would I would rather hang out with him over Zebra, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna understand anything he says. At least with the, with with uh, Zebra, I can understand what he's gonna get at. Anyway. Uh, Tizius has a big picture men uh, mentality and a cause th that she believes in, and the simple fact that she doesn't uh, hasn't yet completely given up is inspiring. Daria is struggling uh, with uh, feelings of despair, and uh, so maybe Tizius could talk her uh, 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 talk her about the work of, of what how she, and that she's been doing. I'm not uh, no what no I'm not struggling. It's whatever. I don't even care. Daria kicks to the ground sulkingly. Um, Tizius looks at her over, and her eyes lingering uh, on the jade symbol on her shirt and her uh, spiky black jewelry. Uh, jewelry and then sighs. Sure, you don't care. I went through the phase of telling myself that too. I thought it would be uh, make it easier to deal, but nah. Tizius pauses uh, for another uh, mug's Um and you think she might be uh, enjoying the opportunity to monologue a little bit. Daria huffs. 
the only thing that helps, uh, and I'm not even sure that it, it helps is the right word for it, is finding something to work on your own uh, little corner. And try to make it uh, stuff less, less messed up. But there's nothing I can do in my corner. It's pointless to pretend otherwise. And that goes for everyone, like, this whole system is designed uh, to help high blood stamp uh, uh, and uh, descent uh, in every corner. Uh, one troll can't do anything against something uh, like that. Susie's eyebrows switch as she stares at Dar uh, Daria, clearly peeved at being in interrupted. Oh, this could uh, be going better. Well, no duh. What do you take me for? I'm not saying that I, all it takes is uh, standing up to uh, fighting. Uh, or, I'm not saying that all it takes is standing up and fighting uh, for what's right or something stupid like that. It's obviously uh, a, a surefire way to get killed or cold. Well, what are you saying? How can you even uh, know what a uh, piddly little action you're, uh, you're taking will change anything? I can't tell uh, you the future, moron. No one can give you a guarantee that any kind of action will, uh, taken will ultimately be effective. Uh, you have to decide for yourself uh, that it's worth it to try anyway. Why would you think it's worth it uh, when everything around us confirms that nothing will ch uh, ever change? Uh, I can't believe you're calling me a moron when that's the stupidest thing I've heard uh, ever heard said. Or uh, stupidest thing I've ever heard. Tizzy just looks uh, like she's about to but ready to throw the contents of a mug at Dara in Daria's face. Knowing trolls, she'd probably follow up with uh, the mug itself. Um, it's not... Uh, this is not the, the conversation you'd hope uh, for it, it would be. You step in before things can get uh, more heated. You tell Tizius that you're sorry uh, that you didn't uh, fly her down just so that uh, her ideas could be, uh, you know, shot down. You turn to Daria. Uh, who is uh, staring at both of you uh, with a, a defiant look on her face and a stubborn set, of, uh, set to her jaw. This kid, she's just so dead set on rebelling against anyone who tries to tell her uh, anything is even the faintest width of authority. You really thought that maybe uh, all that attitude could be channeled into something productive that would also help her feel better and possibly even uh, give her a sense of purpose. You're not mad, you're just disappointed. Ugh. I don't give me that look, okay? I was just stating my opinion. But I guess I could have been less of a, a bone builder about it. You're pleasantly surprised that Daria more so or less apologized. Um. Tizia's uh, looks mollified, too. This stuff just makes me so angry. Angry and sad and helpless. Like. I don't even, uh know what to do with myself when I uh, really have to think about it. Bingo, unfortunately, I feel the same way. I don't think there's anything uh, getting around that helplessness, but what I was trying to say is that working on something that might help fix some things someday makes it feel a little less uh, makes that feeling a little less powerful. So what you're saying is that uh, it's just about making yourself feel better? Well, when you feel like that, it sounds bad. I believe I'm, wor I, I'm working on things that might affect a change someday, even if I'm not around to see it. So, but also, yes, most of the time, it helps me sleep at night too. You tell Daria that it's a bit it is, uh, is a bit disappointed by that, uh, by this, um, like she uh, doesn't trust that political and rebellion can go hand in hand with making the rebels feel uh, good about themselves. You point out that uh, whether or not Tizius feels good about uh, her work doesn't make it uh, the work itself any less effective. Yeah, in the end the universe doesn't care about how I feel. I'm just one troll trying to do the right thing. Or at least the okay thing. For its own sake, even if I, uh, it might and ultimately be futile, uh, what the hell else are we go uh, gonna do uh, on this, uh, you know, hell of an alternative? You got me there. I'm bored all the time, there isn't really anything cool to do down in the caverns. Guess during the downtime uh, in my training I could, I don't know, help you out maybe. 
Not that I have anything to offer other than the book I've uh, in the jet cloisters. Access to that might really, uh, might really help with my research, actually. Uh, give me your number and uh, we can have we can talk. Uh, is this just your imagination, or does Tizius look like a, a smidgen less uh, uh, tired? The bags under her eyes are less baggy, and her back is a little straighter. Um, and you could think at the corner of your eye, uh, the corners of uh, Daria's lips uh, might even very uh, slightly quirked up. Oh. Daria turns her possibly a smile uh, from Tizius to you. That was cool, I guess. Or at least not so bad. But I don't know if it counts as something cool. So I guess we can keep hanging out until uh, more stuff happens. You know Daria well enough by now that to recognize this, uh, uh, this for the ring, uh, ringing endorsement uh, that it is. You're about as happily ag agrees that Tizius pipes up. I'm just uh, heading home from my studying, but I'm not uh, tired yet. If you wanted a third wheel, I could drag along. Hooray! Three way uh, friendship co uh, combo bob victory. Nice, but that also means we got both right answers straight away. Damn it. Okay. Anyway, we'll try and do. Alright, so what's the. So if we send her home, what's gonna happen? Uh, so she goes home. Thinking about the Jed uh, Caverns has uh, got you really uh, missing them. Uh, the quiet, uh, quiet monotony, uh, cute little groves, the, the dank air of, and darkness. You can't think of a better place to lie down and have a, a depression there. Perhaps even a de depression coma. Depression coma, nice. So you straighten up and uh, out of your slouch and tell Daria that regardless of her opinion on um, Bronya and how cool or lame she is, those cloister rules probably exist for a reason, right? Maybe the two of you can both uh, go back to the cavern together. Uh... Fine, be a goody two, uh, two strip pod uh, in, in, in casement. Sorry, there we go. Had to think about, had to think about that for a second. Um, I'm gonna go uh, somewhere else uh, that it's not so lame. Cool, we are lame, but that is uh, ultimately a lot shorter. Anyway, so what's what's the what's the one where we tell Daria what to do? Yeah, tell Daria to think on on her own. You tell Daria that you have no idea for, uh, for cool things to, uh, to do because everything on this planet is lame. But uh, uh, she's from here. Yes. Uh, doesn't she know any uh, non-lame places to go? Uh, I told you, I, I stuck on the ground all the time. It's not my fault I'm uh, literally sheltered for, and never got a chance to do anything fun. Oops, maybe this was the wrong approach. Uh, she seems annoyed at you, but then Daria sighs loudly and uh, uncrosses her arms from her chest. I do know of a place that's pretty alright, I guess. Better than it here, anyway. It's far, though. Not a problem. You got wheels. Um, you were walking around the neighborhood because, well, you felt like li uh, lifeless and glum, and your car needs an alien, uh, needs alien fuel, which you've been reluctant to ask someone how to uh, get because you don't want to be told it runs on uh, grub grease or something like that. But now you have uh, a purpose again and you're more than willing to provide transportation and service uh, for a new friendship goal. You take Daria uh, to your car park a few blocks away, uh, and she directs you uh, where to go. Cool. You drive through the uh, neighborhood after neighborhood, through the yellow blood slums where you met Falcon Cuprum, uh, the busy urban sector where you had the adventure with Tagora, and the austere indigo uh, enclave where Gaelic lives. Eventually, the building gets uh, sparse, and you think uh, about how you're, you were yearning to drive out into the uh, barren landscape and not die, maybe, uh, not, but stop. Just let it all uh, end. You don't think uh, Dari would uh, take you all the way out of uh, out here just so you, for the both of you to be meet sweet oblivion? But who knows? Trolls can be kind of hard to predict. It's kind of true, yeah? Uh, just when you think you've uh, reached the point where there can't be any uh, more city or, or suburbs left, a rubble of masses, uh, of massive old buildings come into view. Ken, It looks almost like a miniature version of the uh, main Alternian city that uh, you're used to. Except, it's all abandoned and mostly ruined. Nothing about here uh, looks in inhabitable. Uh, rumour has it that some of the trolls who live here 
a night of condoms. Uh, so she called the whole town. Uh, that would have been way back in the day. It's ancient history now. If there was any survivors, I, I bet they'd be either be dead or up in space. Anyway, all these buildings were kind of uh, sick. There's never anyone else a uh, kiss, so I'm into that. Cool. You know, private place. You drive until she tells you to stop in front of the a, a huge crumbling building, and even though he's uh, this thing is ha uh, half gone, you can still tell it's all uh, it's a mall. Sweet. It's different. Uh, it's it's different from the mall that uh, you visited with Polypa. Uh, even from the side of the fact that it's uh, totally dark and uh, it doesn't even uh, there's no one inside. It's more. It uh, it seems more old-fashioned and more like uh, one of your familiar Earth malls. Even every dystopian movie uh, you've ever seen has taught you to be extremely wary of the abandoned malls, and you feel pretty nervous as Daria takes you up, uh, it takes you up the uh, rickety frozen escalator. Uh, it's so dark you can barely see your uh, hand in front of your face. You try not to show your fear because you don't want to look uh, like a wuss in front of Daria, but you can't hold back a whimper uh, when your foot lands on the step, lands, uh, lands on a step that makes it instinctive about to uh, collapse noise. Don't be scared. It's okay, I've climbed uh, all over this place a thousand times and everything, and anything that isn't already uh, disintegrated is sturdy enough. And there's no risk of uh, calling out here because, well, everybody's already been called. She's gentler towards you uh, than you would have expected. Even a cynical and spiky demeanor. You swallow your fear and reach out for the top of the escalator and, t uh, and tell her that uh, it's chill. You just I have some horror movie uh, associations. Dora turns off, the, uh, turns and pats you uh, stiffly on the arm. Uh, you never, uh, you would never tell her this, but her reassuring uh, manner once she knows someone is in distress kind of reminds you of Ronya. It's worth it when you get to the cool part. Come on. Um, stuff continues to be dark for a while, though uh, you see some light up ahead as you get closer. Uh, the hall lights up into the uh, food court, and you can see that the lights in is moonlight is uh, shining through the mostly uh, absent roof. And Dario is right. There is uh, something extremely surreal and cool about the uh, the crypt's empty food court uh, with the roof caved in. Rubble sits on top of the cafeteria tables, and plastic food trays are scattered around the floor. And okay, that might be a, uh, the remains of a troll skeleton. Still wearing a mostly uh, disintegrated fast food uniform, which is less cool and makes you remember th that this place is an abandoned because the Condens sent her drones to murder everyone. You want to know the weirdest thing about uh, this mall? It seems uh, like actual adults used to be uh, used to work here. I've gone through a lot of the uh, stores, and some of them are adult-sized things. Um, uh, there's a store about for just like. Uh, stuff the drones bring you now. Man, that's such an old uh, place. Uh, there's army supplies that, uh, for going off all too. Uh, if this mall was for adults, it must be really ancient. Jeez, has it been that long since uh, there were adults on this planet? Even after all your time in Alternia, it still kind of freaks you out. Uh, what must that be like to grow up entirely without adults? To live on a planet that's nothing like uh, but kids. Dari gives you a weird look. Uh, what would it even be like to have adults down here too? Uh, it sounds way more dangerous and stupid. Um, it's not like uh, we're all wigglers. Trolls have to grow out of uh, that mindset pretty fast. People have responsibility and whatever. Uh, or at least they pretend to. Uh, that's the tra- uh, and there's training stuff. For jades, we're basically trapped. Maybe, um... Maybe you'd think that the planet uh, of kids would mean you could do whatever you want, but I've never had any freedom. Uh... All I've, uh, All I've had is uh, even less than- And I'll have even less as an adult. Most of jades aren't even allowed to join an Imperial army. Instead, we just get shipped off uh, to live in isolation. We're forbidden to contribute uh, genetic material to the uh, slurry, and no paling is allowed once we mature. Uh, 
for some, I don't know, re old-fashioned reasons that I pretty much don't understand at all. On Alternia, um, your whole future is decided uh, from the second you're hatched. People tell me that all the time that I have, uh, I haven't looked at it as a J-Blood, but I don't feel lucky at all. Oof, yeah. You agree that Daria, the f that the future that she describes sounds bleak as hell, right? Uh, it's going to suck. And it's so bad that I have to get it, uh, that I have a good. I mean, at least I don't have a certain earthly, uh, early death in my future, unlike a lot of Bluebloods. The system is so messed up that I've never got a... a it's, ne it's never going to change and I hate it here. I just wanted a way out of it. Maybe... When you go back to your home planet, you could take me with you. That would be fun, honestly. I feel I feel like you would have fun. Uh, the request came a little out of left field for a few uh, seconds as you blinked uh, at her surprisingly. Uh, you blinked at her st uh, stupidly. Even all, all the angry uh, black makeup around her eyes, she looks so so sad, sad and lost. Um, you wish you uh, had a different answer to give her. Uh, but you tell her that you can't take her back to your planet because you don't know how, when, or if you're going ever going home. You've been trying not to contemplate the future, uh, because on the rare occasions that uh, you do let yourself think about it, existential dread tends to take over. Dread, yeah, that's the word for it. The older I get, the more I realise how bad things are. I try not to think about it, just like you. But it still hits home er sometimes. And when it does, I don't feel, like, angry or rebellious. Instead, I feel completely paralyzed. This, too, is a familiar emotion to you. You feel it for Daria, who has wandered over uh, to the middle of the uh, food course, standing uh, up through the cave uh, uh, cave in moon, uh, at the moons. She has her arms wrapped around her middle, uh, and her spiky jewelry and jagged haircut uh, and big black boots don't do anything uh, to make her look less small. You wish you knew what uh, to say to make her feel better. You've done a decent job at cheering up uh, dejected trolls in the past, but it's hard when you're feeling so crappy about your own situation. You mutter something about how things could still get better. You never know uh, what the future holds. Yada yada yada. And she looks at you like she knows uh, just how hollow your words are. Uh, you sound like Bronya. Next, you're gonna uh, tell me how important Jade Bloods are uh, and what an honor it is. Uh, what an honor all responsibility is. Give me a break. Optimism is for chumps and losers. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but there's two reasons why I'd say uh, to be pessimist. Um, because if you if you, you can always hope for the best, uh, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. That way, if things do go wrong, you're prepared. Second reason to be a pessimist is because. Either, either you're right, or you're pleasantly surprised. So, uh, yeah. Two, re two reasons to be a pessimist over an optimist, personally. Uh, keeping grubs safe doesn't matter, and uh, the continuation of our species doesn't matter. Nothing of uh, nothing any of us uh, do matters. You feel your blood getting uh, hot uh, to match the steel uh, that is now in her voice. A sick part of you finds the, this train of thought a lot more uh, uh, the scarily uh, satisfying than trying to cheer her up, which isn't uh, wasn't working anywhere. You stamp your feet, uh, and so does she. Can't believe any. Uh, uh, I can't believe anyone bothers trying to uh, carve out a real life on this worthless uh, planet. There's no point. We might as well do uh, all get be cold. Uh, in the back of your mind, you know it. Uh, you need. You know maybe. Uh, you know you should be disagreeing with uh, some form of this, but you're too worked up and uh, to care. Maybe Daria's right. Maybe nothing matters. Uh, that's right. Maybe I should just quit. You fall down in your righteous fury. Maybe quitting is going a bit too far. Maybe this high bloods uh, that go around uh, causing death and destruction just because they have uh, can. Uh, they can have the right idea. Um. This is starting uh, not to sound great. What well, doesn't sound great about it? Who cares if I decide uh, I don't want to be a caretaker, and instead I just uh, burn stuff down for fun? There's no point to anything that doesn't matter. Who cares? Doyle's hands uh, are balled into fists and her teeth are bared and uh, glaring at you. You open your mouth for me to tell her that you care, 
even though that would probably be uh, trite, that would probably sound trite, but no, no words come out. She scoffs and turns away uh, from you and jumps uh, on a crumbly looking cafeteria table. You know what? Forget this. Friendship is pointless and everything uh, is as pointless as everything else. She picks up one of the uh, chairs and you really uh, need to stop uh, being surprised at, at the strength of even the scrawniest looking trolls and hurls it at the nearest fast food stall. You thought it was just a random throw at first, but it appears that she was aiming for uh, with precision because it crashes into a tank of fuel connected to, to the oven. Um, you're not sure how Eternia uh, cooking technology works, but the stall explodes in, in, in a huge green tinged fireball and knocks you to your behind. Uh, okay, and that's ominous. You watch in horror uh, from your uh, behind level vintage point uh, as the flames lick into the uh, restaurant on the either side. Explosions happening around the food court like dominoes. Daria stands in the middle uh, on the table in the middle of it, unmoving, even as the fire threatens to envelop her. This is probably the only place I can actually, uh, I actually like it on this whole planet. So good riddance. If it's gone, one less thing to care about. Uh, with all the dust and the debris, the mall is coming uh, down f around you fast. You desperately want to go and get uh, Daria out of here, but you desperately want to uh, save yourself more. And Daria doesn't look like uh, she wants to be saved. You make a feeble attempt, going over to, uh, to her and trying to grab her around the waist to get her out of here. She kicks you so uh, hard into the chest. The steel toed uh, boot, uh, combat boots send you flying, and uh, it's once again zero days since uh, you last broke your ribs. As you're used to the pain as you are, it still takes you a second uh, uh, from lying on the floor in agony before you can push yourself up to, uh, and look back around the food uh, court. A wall of fire separates you from the uh, tables inside. Uh, you can't even see Daria anymore. Your heart sinks. Maybe she'll come out. Uh, Come to her senses and pulls herself up from the uh, danger and escape through the, the cave in roof. Maybe she'll get out uh, some other way. You stumble to your feet, half thinking that maybe you can uh, find water in a, or a fire extinguisher in some part of the mall that isn't burning. But smoke chokes your lungs, uh, uh, and in your panic, your human survival instincts take over. You dash down to the escalator of the uh, mall infrastructure, it starts uh, to crumble around you. You don't even want to uh, abandon Daria. But it's all you can do uh, to get your own sorry self out of uh, there alive. What? Well, unfortunate. That's a that's a damper to, to end on. That, well, that was an interesting route. I like the three-way combo ending. It's a good that one. That's a that's a good one. That it is the a good successful ending. But uh, yeah. If you have problems, talk it out, really. That's the moral of this one, I think. It, it might not seem like it changes much, but I think talking it out might help in the long run. With that, thank you for stopping by, and hopefully, hopefully I can see you on the next one. Goodbye.